Derby Week is a big money maker for those who live around the track, whether it's selling parking food or even flip flops. Neighbors will tell you there's no better time to make a quick buck. But this year, no such luck. Rose McBride has that story. As the horses prepare to run onto an open track Saturday night, cars sail down open roads Saturday morning, an uncharacteristic sight for Derby Day. Streets and lawns were free of cars. No stands were selling catered or homemade food in front of homes. But on the corner of Central and Taylor, one stand still set up. It's called Neely's Memphis Style Barbecue. William Neely normally sets up in the neighborhood next to Churchill Downs, but his plans changed after Churchill's plans changed. They said no fans, and we had planned this a day after Derby last year. So with all this money spent, Right, we had to do something. Instead of feeding fans, Neely plans to feed anyone on either side of a protest who comes to the area. He hopes his food can bring unity. Food don't discriminate. All stomachs matter. A heavy security and police presence also made this derby a different one. It's kind of a melancholy, eerie kind of feeling with so much security. Mike Norman made the trip to Louisville for the first time this weekend to see his daughter halfway between where she goes to school in Tennessee and where he and his wife live in Illinois. A visit to an empty Churchill Downs was on the list. We thought it was kind of neat that the, the Derby is going to run this year considering everything that's going on. Even without fans, Derby Day in Louisville is a tradition that lives on. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be a great race and um, it's fun to walk the grounds anyway. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.